Hello everyone, thank you so much for making it to my YouTube channel. I'm going to talk about uh, currency conversion in Excel and automating it. So let's jump right into it without wasting any time. But let me show you my video ad that I've created. I hope you enjoyed that ad and please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my official YouTube channel. Okay, let's get right to the point. Some of you have asked me on my TikTok and Instagram how to automate the, conver con the currency conversion in Excel. Excel can be so powerful and I'm going to show it to you today. So in a normal circumstances, you're going to come to Google and type in a website that, can that gives you the best rates for currency conversion. I normally use xrates.com. Uh, so you go to xrates.com and here you go to currency calculator on the top and if you want to convert one USD dollar into Indian rupee, you will tap in one and it's going to show you the calculation in Indian rupee, which is 73.92 updated on November 30th, 2020. Uh, and if you want to convert it into a different currency, for example, in euros, it's going to show you that one USD dollar is equal to 0.83 euros. And you just have to come and change the number, which is 20 US dollars. And it's going to show you the current rate of 16.7 euro as of November 30th. So what if I want to automate this in my Excel and instead of coming to the website, I can do it right in Excel. So to solve this problem, let's open Excel. So I'm going to open this Excel. This is um, to Office 365 and in Office 365, you have the data tab where you have information or such as stocks, geography, uh, and here to get the data. So before getting the data, let's come back to this X-Rates website and here there's a rates table. Let's click on this. So in the rates table, I want to transfer all this amount of data to my uh, Excel and I want to automate it because whatever rates gets updated on this website, it will be reflected in my Excel. So what I can do is I can copy this data and paste it in Excel but that would not be helpful. Why? Because we have to keep on coming back and forth and change it. But instead, we can uh, we can copy this link on the top. So just select it and hit Control C on your keyboard and come back to Excel. And here uh, you, you have two options to get it. Either you click right uh, on From Web or you can go to Get Data. And in Get Data, you can go to From Other Sources and click on From Web. So when you do that, it's going to show you the option of uh, basic and advanced. Uh, let me show you how it's it's going to be done. So it's it's show it's showing you basic and advanced. Advanced has multiple options. We're not going to go dive into that. Uh, let's stick to basic and here just paste your URL. So I have just pasted this URL that I have copied from um, the browser and then click OK. So when you click on that, it's going to take a few seconds and it's going to show you the results uh, by connecting to that website and displaying it. So this navigator is showing me this information. It's showing me that there's a display option. It's going, me, going to show me three tables. One is for the document. So when you click on this, it shows me what kind of document it is. It's, it's, it is an HTML file. You click on table one and it's going to show you um, the, the, the table one that has all this information. But we are concerned with the exchange rate. So when you click on the exchange rates, this is the table that we are getting uh, and this data is getting updated from the website. So this is what we want in our Excel spreadsheet. Um, so what you're going to do is you have to click on load. It's going to take a few seconds and show you the option. It's showing you external data one getting data. There you go. You get you finally got the data. So um, what you can do is you can automate it um, here. I'm going to type type in uh, amount uh, amount in USD dollars. So you type in the amount over there and total amount in con converted currency. Okay, so you see this is getting updated as a data. Um, so for example, I want to convert uh, how many USD dollars? I want to convert 20 USD dollars. I want to convert 10. 
USD dollars to British pounds. I want to convert 60 USD dollars to Indian rupee. So it all depends on you what you want to convert. So I'm going to delete that for, for the time being and just stick to this. And here I'm going to use the formula equals this times let's select uh, let's select uh, sorry um, so this data is showing you that I'm, I'm getting the data for 20 USD this is not what I was looking for it's good that I made that mistake so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to one so when you change this to one uh, if you come back to currency calculator you change it to one it was changed to 20 that's why we got the raise for 20 but you don't want that you want one dollar so you put one here go to race table again and repeat the same process okay so we are back again I got these rates uh, for one USD dollars following the same procedure so now I want to convert one USD dollar so I'm going to calculate this equals this times this is the converted rate so one USD dollars is this and if you double click um, you have to change it here so I'm going to put one here one here um, just got, get all as one uh, so this is showing me the rates so one USD dollars is equal to euro 0.83 British pound 0.74 Indian rupees 73.92 so this is giving me all the data that I need and once you get this data the next thing you are going to do is how we get this uh, information updated automatically so there's an easy way to do that you just have to come to data tab right here and click on refresh all so when you refresh all the rates is going to be refreshed and get you the rates uh, as of now from that website and and this is updated right away but if you want to automate this updation of the data what you need to do is uh, you have to go to refresh all click on this uh, down arrow right here and click on connection properties uh, in con connection properties you are going to see refresh control it's saying refresh every so you can say refresh every five minutes and you can also automate it by refresh data when opening the file so when you do both of them the data will be updated right here and you just click OK so it's already automated so now you want to calculate how many um, dollars you want to convert into euros for example fifty dollars so it's going to show you the amount in euro so this is the easiest way to automate um, getting your currency um, changed into uh, another currency so I really hope that you like this video if you really liked it please share it with your friends and family members and please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much and have a great day